Yo, what is up you guys and welcome to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with yours truly, the Scarander. So alright guys, finally my voice is back. I'm not as sick anymore, which is great. Don't forget to like this battle. This is definitely one of the better battles I have in a long, long, long while here. Um, and this is against a long time friend here named Brandon, who is always going for OU teams. I definitely like battling him because he's pressuring me a lot here. And this is an OU team that only got two UUs, which is Cloyster and Jolteon. I myself am using two RUs, which is Hillisk and Glade. The rest of them is NU. So anyway, the reason I want to upload this is because it is a close battle anyway, even though he has a much stronger team. So anyway, I just want to like do a little shout out here to you guys who have been following me and subscribing and been with me for a long time here. Uh, thank you guys. Sincerely. Um... This is my seventh battle here, or seventeen battle. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll definitely like doing this, and all the support I'm getting back is so appreciated. I, I can't thank you enough for this. So I'm really glad. I sincerely am. So anyway, I'm starting off this battle. I have a pretty good idea that pillow wine or mammoth wine. Uh, too many pillow wines here in the in you. Uh, that it was gonna start off with that. So I myself went for Heroisk just to I was pretty sure was gonna go for um uh, still frost anyway. So right, like I said, I did expect him to start off with the mammoth swine. Uh I knew he'd think he can threaten me by bringing that one. Uh and like that I just decided to go for hidden power, knowing that he most likely go for stealth rock. Uh luckily I was right there. And after this, I do expect the Earthquake, uh, so I'm gonna bring him a Waylord, knowing it can take it, but not well. Uh, plus the Stealth Frog is really pressuring me for some damage there. I barely live that Earthquake, and luckily I have Brian on this, together with the Scarf. So, it's great, I take it out at first turn there, which puts me in a really good position. I know I'm not faster than a Jolteon, and I do expect it to go for our Bolt Switch, so I'm just gonna bring in Steelix, and set up rocks, obviously, there, because it's gonna be huge in this battle. Knowing that it has pokes that don't like we have long battles always, so I really need stuff. For example, did not expect the um, hidden power water there, so I'm just gonna bring in uh, Helix there, knowing that it most likely is hidden power water and not fire, and get some HP back there. Really good, I did that. And here on out, I'm just gonna go for a volt switch, knowing it most likely gonna bring something that could take me on there. Really glad it didn't bring uh, Excadrill at this moment. So the Volt Switch does really well around 50%. And I'm gonna bring in Blimp ahead, no one can take the, um, hit <laughs> the um, rocks there. Just go for Ice Beam, uh, because I am Scar, so I'm going to be faster. But it got the extreme speed, really, really unfortunate there. Second off the Wailer like that, because it does have its benefits, so it, plus it recovers well there with the leftovers. So here on out, you're just gonna go for leftovers. Still Scarf, should probably be the Choice Bandit, because it actually will live this wall charge. Barely, but it will live. So because of that, I don't want to sack off my Moon Dasher just yet, so I'm going to bring in Altaria, knowing that I have Rocky Helmets. Which in turn means that when I bring in like them, they're going to go for Extreme Spin instead of a Outrage. And that also means that, well, that takes it out, instead of I'm hitting it with a, or getting hit by an Outrage. So anyway, I can't do anything against Cloyster, I just have to sack this one off, because I have nothing to take a Technician or Tech Link uh, Skill Link, damn it. Um, so anyway, um, I did expect him to switch into his Yolteon here, uh, going for a Volt Absorb, so I just went right away for the Dark Pulse here. Uh, <laughs> this was really like a huge part of the game, because that meant that his Yolteon was was pretty much dead. He had nothing to take a Dark Pulse with a Spec to heal his death. So at this moment I was in a really, really good position. Uh, and there is really nothing I can do against um, this uh, Excadrill. So I'm just gonna bring in Moon Dasher, knowing it most likely gonna go for an Earthquake there. And well, that takes it out. Of course, because of the Stealth Rocks. Um, so now I'm gonna bring in my Glade, knowing that Excadrill has a good chunk of HP. Uh, so I don't need to fear it as much, actually. And well, he went for a Rapid Spin, which is unfortunate. It is unfortunate. But, well, what can you do? Plus it shows me I got the Enigma Berries, I can't go for Shadow Snake here, I just keep have to go for Drain Punch. Luckily for me, that Earthquake doesn't do too much, or it, it does two thirds, but I'll definitely restore that. So it wouldn't have mattered if it went for Earthquake right away, because I'll most likely restore everything of it just in the beginning there. So anyway, because this charge starts coming here, I need to sack something, I'm gonna decide to switch up my Steelix, consider it has 
really no means in this battle anymore considering the Charizard is already in. So he shows me the Charizard Y. Luckily, had I been Charizard X, I would have been in a real trouble there. So because of that, I need to oh sack off Steelix, obviously. Uh, I'm gonna bring in Salad in here, knowing both of his Pokémon got left is very weak to uh, Thunder or Lightning, and for that reason alone, I just go nuts. <laughs> and that crit did definitely not matter, because it eight specs. And uh, there is really nothing that uh, Spade can do against this uh, Cloyster. But it's a good sacking, I guess. I could have gone for a Shadow Snake to something, but I know um, Bolt Squid would definitely take it out in this range. And I at least take four hits of Icicle Sphere, so that's, that's something, I guess. Um, so, right, anyway. He's not gonna go for a um, Shell Smash or anything like that, there's no reason to. I definitely got this game, so he got for a Protect, just to annoy me, I guess. And I'll pull this off. I beat him with an NU team, or are you? Are you? Are you folks still living? And as always, guys, I um, really thank you for you watching this battle. Um, and I I am, like I said, a real thank you for you being so supportive in my work. Um, if you want to be in contact with me or battle me, don't forget to uh, add me here, obviously, and subscribe. And also my Twitter account, which I use a lot now, because it's a good way to reach out for battles. So if you want to have a good shot against me, that's the way to reach me. And also, I stream. Be a part of that. Anyway, guys, thank you for joining. Bye.